We live in a world driven by innovation, efficiency, and power. Yet, one fundamental unit operation stands tall beyond all. And I'm talking about the pump. This type of equipment can be found everywhere, from oil refineries to water treatment plants, from manufacturing industry all the way to agriculture. Pumps are indeed the hidden heroes of the manufacturing industry and processes. Welcome to the course. My name is Emanuel Ortega, also known as the chemical engineering guy, and I will be your instructor throughout this course. Undoubtedly, understanding the pump fundamentals is one of the key skills that a process engineer requires when we're talking about fluid mechanics and unit operations working with liquids. Basic concepts such as pressure drop due to friction, pressurization, pump head, system curve, pump power, operational point, and of course, being able to select the most optimal pump for your system must be mastered. That's why I prepared this program for all those willing to learn the fundamentals of this beautiful unit operation. The course is helpful for students, operators, and professionals because we cover the academic calculations, fundamental and theoretical concepts. We cover the common troubleshooting and practical aspects of pump control, pump operation, and of course, the selection, operation, and optimization of this unit. Now, let me tell you more about the structure of this course. And I try to make it very simple. Number one is all about the basic calculations and performance indicators of the pumps. In this specific section, we're going to be covering a lot of calculations. We're going to understand the fundamental aspects of a pump, mechanical energy equation, basic problem solving, and a methodology to approach such problems. And more importantly, understanding what is pump head, efficiency, power, cavitation, specific speed, and many other type of indicators. Then we continue with section number two, which is essentially understanding how pumps are categorized. And more importantly, why do we have a lot of categories? The positive displacement pumps and the rotodynamic or kinetic pumps. Understanding not only the different type of models, but also what are their best applications. We're talking about viscous fluids, low rotational speeds, maybe we're talking about certain type of fluids, or maybe we're talking about specialized applications. Whatever the case this may be, we're going to cover all the most common type of pumps. And finally guys, section number three is all about pump selection, the methodology that we're going to be using, understanding the pump operation, and more importantly, optimizing pump, being able to assess a system and assess the pump selection. In this specific case, we're going to be improving the efficiency of the pump, we're going to be avoiding cavitation, we're going to be improving pump performance, and more importantly, decrease the energy use. Not only that, guys, we're going to be talking about the most common type of troubleshooting, depending on the issue that you may encounter. Now, with respect to learning, guys, you know that I love both theory and practice. That's why I prepare very short dynamic learning lectures that summarize valuable knowledge. Not only that, we will work with case studies and more importantly, exercises and solved problems. You will encounter a lot of downloadable material such as PDF sheet, spreadsheets, formularies, common Q&A, and much more. The main idea is to favor your type of learning. All this in order to ensure that by the end of the course, you'll have the strong fundamentals of pumping, but not only that, understanding the basic principles that go beyond pump operation, maintenance, and troubleshooting. All this not only with theoretical ideas or concepts, but also with very practical hands-on work. So there you have it, guys. Are you ready to boost your process engineering skills and kickstart your career? Enroll now and I'll see you in class.